Hello, in this video, we are going to take a look at implementing validation in Bootstrap forms. So I will provide a link to the official Bootstrap page, which shows you all the different ways of doing validation. The a lot of cool different ways. I will, you know, cover, you know, the basics and it'll be a good foundation for you to, you know, proceed. So, so far, we don't even have a submit button. So let's, you know, Let's do that as one of the first, first tasks. And let's add a div class fold dash 12. You can add any sort of button style you want. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to have a button tag. I'm going to have a class of btn btn dash danger again that's just for the styling we have a type which is submit and i'm going to have the text submit in here so if i reload we get this if i click it you might be able to briefly see the web if you look here the website is you know just a little bit you know reloading because it is going to if you go to the top of the form there's no action here if there was an action it will, we could specify what we you know where we want to go to if we don't specify it just you know submits back to this page you would obviously use back-end technology like php or python to actually get that data and do something with it but this is just about the front-end stuff so let's say we want the email address to be a mandatory field so on all input whether it's this whether it's you know this whatever it is anything that's mandatory put required like so and I'm also going to have this on mandatory down here. So again, it is totally up to you what you choose to be mandatory. This is what we're, you know, using. So if I click submit, we, you know, get this now. So if I was to try and do this, it says it needs to include an email address. The reason it says that is because the type is email so that's just a browser default check so let me go with that click submit this now says none of this is moaning because we these aren't required if i put something in here this just needs to have some you know characters it lets me submit it obviously you can use javascript to get that data you can use php to get it you can validate in client side always validating server side as well so that's just the browser default validation. You can also do some extra validation, which allows, I mean, not extra validation, I would say, alternative validation and show you, you know, a different style. So what we are going to do is show you, or I'm going to show you how to put custom feedback. So if I put a div, we're going to put class invalid feedback. We can put valid feedback as well. So feel free to check that out on the Bootstrap website for more information. And in here, I'm going to say incorrect email address. And I'll also do it for this one. Incorrect username. Okay, so currently, if I was to try and submit it still does the bread the default. So the couple of more things that we need to do, we need to add a, some data here. And what we are gonna do is add a class of needs dash validation. Then I'm gonna say no validate. Now let's see what it does. If I reload, click this, you know, nothing is appearing now. So the reason for that is we need to actually sort of set this up in a JavaScript. So we need to initiate all of this stuff. So we're going to put a script tag. If you have a separate JavaScript file, feel free to actually use that one to put your code in to keep it nice and tidy. This is a very simple page. So I'm putting it all on the same page. Okay, so var form. So we are going to get any form on the page using query selector all based on the class it is this class here needs validation so if i copy that and you need to put a dot to indicate what you are checking is a for 
a class. Then we're going to say array dot prototype dot slice dot call. And on all the forms, we're going to say for each one, we're going to essentially call this method on each of them. There's going to be the form in here. So this is the individual thing from the array. This is the way I like to format these arrays. And in here, we're going to say form. So this is each individual form. In our case, there's only one, but this just ensures that in case there's multiple, which is more than possible, dot add event listener. And the event listener is going to be submit. So when it has been submitted, we're going to call this function now with event. So this is just the default event that is happening. And in here, we're going to say event dot prevent default, which is, you know, submitting it event dot stop propagation just to stop the, you know, touch event, you know, the submission event going down in case of stuff below it. And we're also not in here, sorry. Ah, this is meant, to, this is meant to be in an if statement, my bad. So if the form isn't valid, check validity validity yeah that is spelled correctly if it's not valid only then would we want to you know prevent the default and stop the propagation otherwise we would you know continue with submitting to whatever action has been implemented next we're going to say form dot class list dot add was dash validated semicolon and in here the form we're gonna say false like so and that should be all good to go reload click that there we go anything else because it doesn't require you know data they automatically are succeeded but now we get this error incorrect email address we can obviously format this however we want to but put something in here still you know it, it's not valid so if I do that now it is valid and as long as I put something in here, we're all good and we can submit it. So that is it for validation. Like I said, there's a lot more information on the Bootstrap website. Feel free to go over this and have a look. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message on Discord, on my website or social media. All links and everything is in the description and on the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.